What if I tell you that the Barbie movie is not actually about the Barbies? What if I tell you that the Barbie movie is actually about you? Yes, I'm talking about you. What if I tell you that there are some hidden messages in the movie that you missed while watching? I'm going to share each and every hidden message in the movie by answering a series of questions that you all probably had in your mind after watching the movie. The girl who's playing with you, she must be sad and her thoughts and feelings and humanness are interfering with your dullness. Have you ever got it correctly on how the mindset of a Barbie and the mindset of a human being has been interconnected? The temperament of these people is highly affected by the owners of each representing doll. For example, this is Barbie, the most popular doll in the Barbie land. Now she represents all the Barbie dolls like her in the real world. And the temperament of this Barbie depends on the mood of the actual owners of the Barbie dolls in the real world. Even if a single Barbie doll owner begins to feel sad, groggy, less confident, depressed while playing with the toy, the representing Barbie doll in the fictional world will also get affected by this behavior. Which means, if one of the owners of that Barbie doll in the real world feels bad about herself, the representing Barbie doll in the fictional world will also feel bad about herself. If one of the owners of that Barbie doll plays with the Barbie real hard and modify the external look of that doll, the external look of the representing Barbie doll will also get modified. But Here's the catch. If the emotional state of a Barbie owner can affect the emotional state of the representing Barbie in the fictional world, can I also say that the emotional state of a representing Barbie can also affect the mindset of the owner? The shortcut answer is no. A sad Barbie owner can make the fictional Barbie feel sad about herself, but a fictional Barbie does not possess a feeling of her own, which means her mood is dependent on the mood of the owner in the actual world. This phenomenon has a hidden message for you. The situation tells us that the majority humans are mentally unstable and unhappy because they do not possess a feeling of their own. They always let the external environment have the power to define their emotional state and this is not good. But there's a problem over here. When Barbie was having a down feeling, a lot of depressed Barbies were sold by Mattel in the real world. Okay kids, it's time to run out and get the new depression Barbie. She wears sweatpants all day and night. Anxiety, panic attacks, and OCD sold separately. Barbie, Barbie. Wake up. When Ken was influenced by the ideologies of patriarchy, a lot of patriarchal dolls, stickers, mugs, and other stuff were sold out in a heartbeat. Everything exists to expand and elevate the presence of men. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Try it. Mojo Dojo. Mojo Dojo Casa House. <laughs> Dojo Casa houses are literally flying off the shelves. The kids are clamoring for them. Does it mean that the emotional state of the Barbie and the Ken has the ability to influence the team members of Mattel? Definitely. This phenomenon has a hidden message for you. This situation tells us that when our mind is preoccupied with dogmatic ideologies, depression, sadness, and all kinds of discomforts, there will be some people who are going to be ready to make money from your pain, hopelessness, and discomfort. Comfort. I got into this business because of little girls and their dreams in the least creepy way possible. In the Barbie land, everything over there was utterly fake. Fake beach, fake ocean, fake foods, and only God knows what. Even the cars do not have a fucking engine. No, wait, you don't have a driver's license. This car doesn't have an engine. <sighs> only the humans over there are real, but unfortunately pretending to be fake since a long period of time. And these people behave like a retard almost all the time. They also do not have any job, meaning they are unemployed, but they are pretending to be great achievers in life. That's why you can get to see them getting Oscar. Nobel Prize as well as other prestigious awards and degrees. They even gave an Oscar on horses, like what the fuck? The Nobel Prize in horses goes to... But there is a hidden message in this case. This situation tells us that the most humans pass all of their lives daydreaming that they will achieve something great in life but they never take any action. So they begin to live a life of delusional optimism crawling with fake status with fake efforts. And the kids playing with the Barbie dolls are also a fat portion of them. When they feel uncomfortable for who they are, how they look and what they are capable of, they play with the Barbie dolls imagining themselves to be a doctor, lawyer, 
engineer, astronaut, plumber, Johnny Sins and whatnot. If you have seen the movie, you should also know that these people in the Barbie land also had an unusual level of living standard among them. For example, Barbies cannot have a bad breath. Barbies cannot cry. Barbies do not have a flat feet. Barbies do not have a cellulite skin. Barbies are not average people. They must be overachievers in life. Barbies must look very hot and sexy. Barbies do not have any sadness or depression. Barbies can be anything in life except for being a mother or a housewife. Barbies are fucking immortal. Barbies are also considered incomplete without a Ken which means females are incomplete if they are divorced or single. Now the standards of these people sound a lot like the Kardashian family. Jesus Christ. But unfortunately, that's how the entire new generation believe about their lifestyle. And they are always in constant pressure to look more sexually appealing, strong, rich and successful. The biggest problem our generation has is that we are beginning to believe that a hero doesn't have any weakness or any kind of vulnerability. Where the truth is, as long as your soul is living inside a body, you will have a weakness. In the movie, it was portrayed that no Barbie has to eat, drink or even do anything to survive like an average human being. But in the end of the movie, Barbie was going to see her gynecologist. And what are you here for today, Barbara? I'm here to see my gynecologist. <laughs> Does it really make any sense? From a logical perspective, this is bullshit. But from a metaphorical point of view, it really makes sense. It was another metaphor used for uncovering the fact that our females have been indoctrinated into living a plastic life, teeming with fake ideologies and expectations. On the other hand, Barbie wanted to break that norm by telling the world that she is not a plastic toy. She is a woman and most importantly, a human being. Nobody looks like Barbie. So, she will from now live like an average human being for the rest of her life. All in all, the Barbie land was not real in the movie. The Barbie land was a metaphorical representation of the fakeness, emptiness and hollowness of the people around the world, just like the miserable Kardashian family. Despite enjoying the movie, I had to tell you that the storytelling was somehow messed up. The storytelling of this movie is exactly what happens when you smoke 500 pounds of expired leftover cannabis from the basement of Justin Trudeau, some crystal meth leftovers from the Breaking Bad and snort in one kilogram of cocaine Colombia from China before writing down the script. This is actually not the kind of movie you should watch from a logical perspective. Like you need to dump your brain into the toilet before you watch movies like this. The level of cringe that goes into the movie is beyond description and that is the only thing which I did not like about the movie. Apart from the storytelling, this movie was quite enjoyable but I'm not gonna watch another Barbie if another installment is under production. I'm so happy. Mini fridges are so small. Mm -hmm. You can only fit a six pack in them, and the freezers are basically useless. <laughs> One lady, she even asked me for the time. No way. Way. <laughs> I'm the son of a mother. I'm the mother of a son. I do not have a vagina. And he does not have a penis. I'm just kidding. Anywhere else I'd be tame Is it my